Transformations. So what are transformations? They are either addition or multiplication, and they're called transformations because of the way they affect a graph of a function. We're going to start out with shifts. They're a little easier to understand. The important thing to remember about shifts is that they work with addition or subtraction. But I'm going to keep uh, thinking about addition here. How do they work? So a vertical shift, if you have a function f of x and you add a number to it plus k, this new function we'll call g of x. So what happens to the graph when you add k to it? The graph of this new g of x is the graph of f of x shifted up. This should be an up arrow up k units. What happens if k is negative? Well, you could say shift up negative two units, or you could just say shift down two units. So if k is negative, less than zero, shift down. Horizontal shift. Every horizontal transformation is the opposite of what it appears to be. So vertical shifts happened outside the function horizontal shifts happen inside next to x. So if you subtract or add before you take uh, the function, then you have a horizontal shift. So here we have x minus h. What does this do to the graph? It looks like it should shift it uh, h units uh, to the, it's weird, there's a negative, and this negative means shift to the right. Now this is counterintuitive. So f of x minus h, you go h to the right. If h is negative, which would look like x plus h, you would shift to the left. So if we have a function, g of x is f of x minus 2 plus 3. We have a horizontal shift and a vertical shift. What does the uh, minus 2 do? It looks like it should shift. It's going to shift horizontally, and it's going to shift to the right too. Now that's weird, just keep in mind, horizontals are always opposite. So minus 2 is going to shift to the right 2. This plus 3 is happening outside, it's vertical, and it's going to go up 3. So if I knew the, what the graph of regular f looked like, I could just take that graph, go 2 to the right, and 2 up. Now how do you apply these to a graph? You just use addition. How do you go to the right 2? You add 2 to every x-coordinate. How do you go up three? Just take all your points and add three to their y-coordinates.